Page 10, Owl in the Night. 4-4 four, four time, no sharps or flats. This is a good piece for volume control, dynamics, louds and softs. But we'll get to that later. First things first, I want to talk about the notes in the right hand. At the beginning when the right hand comes in, it's an F sharp and a G together, fourth and fifth fingers. Now put your hands in this position. And then we adjust as we need to for the black keys. So we're here to start with. That sounds great. This is going to be a wonderful piece, you can tell already. And then a C. Last measure, you have an E flat. Next line, E flat. Isn't that nice? Then later in the second line, still E flat. And then third line, you're just using these notes. And the fourth line is like the first. And the last line, again, you're just using these notes. Left hand, let's talk that. It starts at the beginning. You have an E flat. You're in this position, sort of. And then in the two measures later, you get an F sharp G. I mean, you already had it for the right hand. I mean, fair is fair, right? You get it here, too. Oh, boy. Second line, last measure here, D. And then these are the notes pretty much for the whole thing. Throughout, if you look throughout the rest of them. Put the hands together. Let's see what this mess sounds like here. Now, four, four time. I didn't mention that, but it is. So we're counting quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You rest on beat four. One, two, three, four. do that throughout. So note-wise, hopefully it's not a problem. The last line, you're down here. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, and together. As if one wasn't good enough, now you got both hands doing it. Get the notes and the rhythms. That's what we're after. The whole thing is pretty much legato, except the phrases. You lift up between the phrases so we get a little silence. So at the, in the first line, when you finish the second measure, going into the third measure, lift up a little bit before you play this. So there's just a little bit of silence. Don't connect this and this. We want some silence in there. And you're gonna do that throughout this whole piece. Now sometimes you get a rest and that gives you the silence so you don't have to worry about it, but that, that's just wonderful. Second line, last two measures, here. Lift up. Now lift up again. Lift up. Lift up. Now when I say lift up, I don't mean play it real short. All we're doing is just cutting it a little bit short. And throughout this whole thing, follow these phrases that they've got going. Now in the last line, or uh, elsewhere, where you get this, look at the second and third measure of the last line with these chords. Go ahead and connect this to this. You'll have to separate it. There's no slur or anything marked. So go ahead and play it as connected as you can out and everywhere else in here. So the last two measures, you're still going to connect them more or less. There, there's no separation there. Now the big thing about this is the dynamics. So now we've got all this other stuff out of the way, now we can focus more on the dynamics. Like in the first two measures. You're starting out medium soft, whatever that is. You'll have to decide what sort of soft is. And you're going to end up at the end of the second measure at medium soft again. But you're going to get louder and then you're going to come back down. It doesn't tell you how much louder to get. 
I would suggest you only go up to about a medium loud. You just get a little bit louder. When you have these facing hairpins like this, the sideways arrows, look in the middle of it and you see the note or notes that are there and that tells you what your target is. That's where you're after. That's the loudest part. So you're going to go to that part and then you're going to come back off. And Think about that. So if I'm starting this loud, the loudest part might be here. So the difference between this and this and loudness isn't very much, but I want to go from here to here back to here. I'm exaggerating it. The electronics I'm using to record these try and level everything out and that messes up the volume. It sounds much better in person. Take my word for it. It's just a, it's a louder, it's a softer. And you plan this. So those four notes go up to here. Go on up to here and come back down. You get this throughout this and that's the idea you're going up to there. And then the next one, when you do that, you're medium loud, about as loud as you were at the loudest part, and then come down. Just make it this, the quarter note softer is all. Now the next one is medium soft, and come down to soft. It's like an echo. So it's here, 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 now. And then we're going to go up again. Soft, medium soft, sort of soft, soft. And now you go, go, go up to the F, go to here. And then start out third line, medium loud, and go, then go down to sort of soft or soft either one. And then the third line, last two measures, you start it. And then each one is just a little bit softer. And then like that. And so do these dynamics. Now when you're first learning this on the dynamics, I recommend you exaggerate them so you get the feel. So instead of medium soft going up to medium loud, I'm going to start soft and I'm going to go up to loud. I'm going to exaggerate both so I can get the feel of it. And then once I have the feel of it, then I can pull back and, and do it a little more. So I, I want to feel that. Now again, the scales are great for practicing this because you can practice the scale getting louder and softer as you're going through. I can practice it getting louder as I go up and the softer. Or start loud and get softer. I start soft to get louder. Practice the, the dynamic changes with the scales. Or I can take, since I'm playing eight notes, or it doesn't matter how many I play, I can get louder in the middle of the going up and then come back down. Practice that getting up and down like that. that it takes control and it takes practice and it's good practice. Now there's words to it. If you want to sing it, go right ahead. I'm not saying it. You can. And this woohoo thingy they've got for the owl who I thought it just went hoo hoo, but they got a woo in front of it. So it's a woohoo or a woohoo. I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess it's up to you on how you want to sing it. That should be interesting. Now I'd like to do a play with me and just check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics. You can do the dynamics and all that. As far as how fast it goes, they give you an idea with the metronome, and you can do that, but you start it slow and you gradually speed up. So let's just take it really slow to double check the note, because we got a lot of accidentals in here, and we want to make sure we have the right notes and the right rhythms, because if those are wrong, forget everything else. You know, those got to be right first. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, Ready, go.